Good morning, it's Lynn here from the Learn English Network in Kitely and yesterday we're going to um, carry on reading Five Children and It. I foolishly said earlier that maybe we will finish today but let's see. <laughs> You're welcome Shiny. You, I know you have difficulty actually finding us and following us and getting into the room. Oh, but you're, outside, you're standing outside. Next to the broom. Are you going to do some sweeping, Shiny? <laughs> it doesn't matter, wherever you're comfortable. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, what did I say yesterday, April? I think so. Did I? Oh, I'll have to re-watch that bit. I'm not sure. My brain is on, in Monday mode still. Okay. I had a very busy weekend and I was up at half past five this morning. So I don't know what's going on. It's not good being up at half five on a Monday. It's definitely not the way to start the week. But I have at least had my tea now and my coffee. So I'm fully tanked. <laughs> okay, so today's reading list. Um, April will be the first to read, followed by Eleanor, then Moz, then Reem, and then Shiny. Last but not least, Shiny. If anybody else comes along, we'll have to just see if we have time to add them to the list. Uh, but I do have to be a little bit punctual today. So I suggest we begin. April, have you found the place in the book? Uh, yes, awesome. I'm ready. Excellent. I love that. Whenever you're ready to start then. Okay. Uh, uh, then slowly. Oops, sorry. One moment. Then slowly, by twos and threes, the Indians who had gone to look for firewood came back, and they came back empty-handed. They had not been able to find a single stick of wood for a fire. No one ever can, as a matter of fact, in that part of Kent. The children drew a deep breath of relief, but it ended in a moan of terror. For bright night knives were being brandished all about them. Next moment, its, its child was seized by an Indian. Each closed its eyes and tried not to scream. They waited for the sharp agony of the knife. It did not come. Next moment, they were released and fell in a trembling heap. Their heads, oh, their heads did not hurt at all. They only felt strangely cool. Wild war, war whoops rang in their ears. Then, uh, when they ventured to open their eyes, they saw four of their foes dancing around, dan dancing around them with wild leaps and screams, and each of the four brandished in his hand a scalp of long flowing black hair. They put their hands to their heads. Their own scalps were safe. The poor untutored Savages had indeed scalped the children, but they had only, so to speak, scalped them of the black calico ringlets. The children fell into each other's arms, sobbing and laughing. Their scalps are ours, chanted the chief. Ill-rooted were their ill-fated hairs. They came off in the hands of the victors, without struggle, without resistance. They yielded their scalps to the conquering rock dwellers. Oh, how little a thing is a scalp so lightly won. They'll take our real ones in a minute. You see if they don't, said Robert, trying to rub some of the red ochre off his face and hands onto his hair. Cheated of our just and fiery revenge are we. The chant went on, but there are other torments than, be, than the scalping knife and the flames. Yet is the slow fire the correct thing? 
Oh, strange and natural country, wherein a man may find no wood to burn his enemy. Ah, for the boundless forests of my native land, where the great where the great trees for thousands of miles grow, but to furnish firewood, wherewithal to burn our foes. Ah, would we were but in our native forest once more. Suddenly, like a flash of lightning, the golden gravel shone all round the four children instead of the dusky figures. For every single Indian had vanished on the instant at their leader, leader's word. The summit must have been there all the time, and it had been the Indian chief wish wish. Marta brought home a jug with a pattern of stalks and long grasses on it. Also, she brought back all Antia's money. My cousin, she gave me the jug for luck. She said it was an odd one, what the, bas the basin of had not of had got smashed. Oh, Marta, you are a dear, sighed Antia, throwing her arms round her. Yes, giggled Marta. You'd better make the most of me while you you've got me. I shall give you I shall give your ma notice directly. Min minute she comes back. Oh, Marta, we haven't been so very horrid to you, have we? asked Antia aghast. Oh, it isn't that, miss, Marta giggled more than ever. I'm a going to be married. It's Bill, the gamekeeper. He's been a proposing to me of and on to me of and on ever since you come home from the clergyman's where you got locked up on the church tower and today i said the word and made him a happy man Antia put the seven and four uh, pins pens puns four puns back in the missionary box and pasted paper over the place where the poker had broken it she was very glad to be able to do this and she does not know to this day whether breaking open a missionary box is or is not a hanging matter. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Oh, spot on as well. Five minutes and at the beginning of the next chapter. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look at the individual words. Just a couple. So well done. Nicely read. And um, not much in the way of corrections. But we have got a couple. So... Um, let's give that a go. The first one, it's not, your pronunciation was fine, it was the um, stress. So it's conquering. Conquering. That's it. Perfect. To conquer, she stoops to conquer, and conquering is the verb. Okay. Then fiery, not fiery, fiery. Okay, fiery. Because it's fire, yeah? A fiery. We were talking about the fires in uh, California this morning. Um, so it's a very fiery experience. So it's like fire. Okay. Then shone, not shown. To shine, shone. It's shone. Shone, shone, shone. Shone. Shorter than, not shone. Otherwise, if you, take, if you make it too long, it sounds like shorn, as in shorn the sheep. Okay. So, shone. Shone. That's it. Shone. That's it. Good. Then, pattern. Make sure you get that at and the p. It sounded a little bit like button when I heard it. Pattern. Pattern. Better. Good, good, good. And then, church tower. So, church and then t. Church tower. Try it. Church. Church tower. Yeah, church tower. It's a bit of a tongue twister, I know. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Chitter, chitter. <laughs> church tower. Good. And the last one, pasted, not pasted, pasted. Ah, it's not from the past, past tense. No. Ah, it's no, no. from paste. To paste, yeah. yes. Paste. To paste. 
paste it paste that's it. it that's it good and just to confirm well done because you worked it out wild war whoops <laughs> Wild war whoops. Oh, dub, uh, three, we, three <laughs> <Yeah>. W. <laughs> three W. Wild <laughs> war whoops. At the World Wide Web. <laughs> Very good. Well done. Okay. Any questions before we move on? There was one uh, oh, yeah. word that I don't know what which was what. Uh, not that. Uh, I can't find it anymore. Which one was it? I don't know. <laughs> the wherewithal? Uh, I... No. Okay. Uh, uh... Well, have have a look through, but we'll carry on because, as I say, I've okay. got to finish today. Yeah. But have a look through and see if you find it. Ask in the next uh, question bit. Eleanor, it is your turn. So you're actually reading okay. from chapter 11. Yeah, okay. from the beginning. Yeah. Of course, you who see above that this is the eleventh and last chapter know very well that the day of which this chapter tells must be the last on which Sir, Antia, Robert and Jane will have a chance of getting anything out of the summit or sand ferry. But the children themselves did not know this. They were full of rosy visions and whereas on the other days they had often found it extremely difficult to think of anything really nice to wish for, their brains were now full of the most beautiful and sensible ideas. This, as Jane remarked afterwards, is always their way. Everyone was up extra early that morning and these plans were hopefully discussed in the garden before breakfast. The old idea of one hundred pounds in modern Florence was still first favourite, but there were others that ran it close, the chief of these being the pony each idea. This had a great advantage. You could wish for a pony each during the morning, ride it all day, have it vanish at sunset, and wish it back again next day which would be an economy of litter and stabling. But at breakfast two things happened. First, there was a letter from mother. Granny was better, and mother and father helped to be home that very afternoon. A chair arose. And of course this news at once scattered all the, be all the before breakfast wish ideas. For everyone, so quite plainly that the wish of the day must be something to please mother and not to please themselves. I wonder what she would like, pondered Cyril. She'd like us all to be good, said Jane primly. Yes, but that's so dull for us, Cyril joined. And besides, I should hope we could be that without sand fairies to help us. No, it must be something splendid that we couldn't possibly get without wishing for. Look out, said Antia in a warning voice. Don't forget yesterday. Remember, we get our wishes now just wherever we happen to be when we say I wish. Don't let's let ourselves in for anything silly. Today of all days? All right, said Siri, you needn't talk so much. Just then Martha came in with a jug full of hot water for the teapot, and a face full of importance for the children. A blessing, we all alive to eat our breakfast, she said darkly. Why, whatever's happened? Everybody asked. Oh, nothing, said Martha. Only it seems nobody's safe from being murdered in their beds nowadays. Why? said Jane, as an agreeable thrill of horror ran down her back and legs and out of her toes. Has anyone been murdered in their beds? Well, not exactly, said Martha, but they might just as well. There's been beggars ever at Pass Marsh Place, 
Please just tell me. And Dave took every single one of Lady Chittenden's diamonds and jewels and things. And she's uh, going out of one fainting fit into another with hardly time to say all oh, my diamonds in between. And Lord Chittenden's away in London. Lady Chittenden, said Ankia. We've seen her. She wears a red and white dress, and she has no children of her own, and can't abide other folks's. That's her, said Martha. Well, she's put all her trust in riches, and you see how she's saved. They say the diamonds and things were worth thousands of pounds. There was a necklace and a river, whatever that is, and no end of bracelets, and a tarer, and ever so many rings. But there I mustn't stand talking, and all the place to clean down afore your ma comes home. I don't see why she should ever have had such lots of diamonds, said Antia when Martha had flounced off. She was not at all nice lady, I thought. And Martha hasn't any diamonds and hardly any jewels. The Telpas necklace and the sapphire ring Daddy gave her when they were engaged, and the garnet star and the little pearl brooch with great papa's hair in it. That's about all. When I'm grown up, uh, when I'm grown up, I buy mother no end of diamonds," said Robert, "if she wants them. I shall make so much money exploring in Africa." I shan't know what to do with it. Very good. Would well it? Done. Oh, okay. okay. No alarm clock. <laughs> Thanks. No alarm clock. No, I don't want to shock people. <laughs> I do have an alarm clock, but it only rings for me. <laughs> Very good. So, um, practically perfect pronunciation. Uh, one word, just to confirm. Scattered. To scatter. Scattered. So it's more of an a. Ah. Eh, I swallowed it. Uh huh. Scatter, scatter. Is it better? That's it. Yes, yeah, scattered as the past tense. Uh. Okay. And then this scattered. next one is about intonation because it's a question. Now you've got the question form right on the why, uh, and it's always difficult when people sort of split the sentence like that. But the whole sentence is a question, and you kind of forgot that when you got to the second part of it. So you'd read yeah, it like I, I had the feeling. Yeah. <laughs> so you'd read it. Why, said Jane, as an agreeable thrill of horror ran down her back and legs and out at her toes, has anyone been murdered in their beds? So it's still a question. Try it. Oh. Why, said Jane, as an agreeable thrill of uh, Why, said Jane, as an agreeable thrill of color ran down her back and legs and out of her toes. Has anyone been murdered in their beds? That's it. Good. Much better. Oh. Yeah. So remember, when it begins as a question, it will end as a question, especially if there's a question mark at the end. Okay? So that intonation, that kick at the end, and just, just, yeah, the sound is, it's not a statement. Okay? Okay, so who's next? Let's see. It's Moz, Muzzy. Muzzy, Muzzy. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh, is Moz still with us? Moz, can you hear me? Oh, maybe Moz has gone AFK. April, did you um, remember what word it was you wanted to ask? No, Lynn, I can't oh, find gosh. it <laughs> Isn't that always the way? I'll tell you what, that's one thing I like about Kindles. Because if you see a word, you can just double click it and it will save it for you. And then you can go back and review it. But um, we haven't got Kindle on this. so. Okay, Reem, are you with us? Okay, so Reem, if you take Moz's place and then hopefully he'll come back and get himself sorted. Um, yes. So, whenever you're yes. ready. Yes, I'm ready. Uh, I will start. Wouldn't it be Jola, Jory, Jory, said Jane during Mary, if mother could found, uh, find all those? 
lovely things, necklaces uh, and rivers uh, of the, uh, diamonds and uh, turrets, uh, TRS, etc. TRS, Zen and drinks, and everything in her room when she came home. I wish and she would. The other does uh, it at uh, here in, in uh, Horeb. When she will, said Robert, you ha you wish it. My, J, uh, my good uh, J, J, and our only chance now is to find the savvy. And if it's uh, in a good temper, it, it may take back the wish and give us another. If not, well, uh, good na uh, goodness now uh, knows knows that we're uh, in for, for the police, of course, and don't cry, Sally. Uh, don't cry, Sally. Well, uh, we'll stand by you. Father says you need never be afraid, afraid if we don't do anything wrong and always speak the truth. Uh, the truth. But uh, uh, Cyril and Antia exchange uh, gloomy, uh, exchange gloomy, gloomy glance. They remem uh, remembered uh, how con convincing, convincing the truth, but this is, but the summit had been uh, once before when told, uh, told the pol to the police. Uh, it was a day of uh, mis f f fortunes. misfortunes. Of course, the summit could not be found, nor the jollies uh, through even one of the children uh, searched the mother's room again and again. Of course, R Robert said, we couldn't find them. It w it'll uh, be mother who do that. Perhaps she'll she'll think they've been in the house for years and years, and never know they are uh, the uh, the stolen ones at all. Oh yes, Sarah was very scornful. Scor scorn fair the mother will be a receive, uh, receiver of stolen goods and you know Jolla we what uh, well what that's worth then another of ex uh, ex uh, excessive search of uh, the sand pit fell to rival the summit. So the children went back to the house slowly and sadly. I don't care. Uh, I don't care, said Antia stolidly. Well, uh, we will uh, tell mother the truth and she'll uh, give back the jewels and make everything all right. Do you do you think so? said Sarah slowly. Do you think she'll believe us? Could any one believe about uh, about smile 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 unless they seen it? She think we were frightened frightened or uh, else she'll think we are raving mad and then we shall be sent uh, to bed bed lab. how would you like it he turned suddenly on miss miserable uh, uh, on the miserable jane how how would you like it to be shut up
in uh, Aaron card uh, with cars with cars the cars and the uh, bed walls and nothing to do but sticky straw straws in, in your hair all day and listen to the hollings and ribbings of the other man manises Man, money says, make up your mind to it, all of you. It's one use. Uh, it's uh, no use telling mother. Very but good. it's true. Okay, that's it. Well done. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Very good. Nicely read. And um, let's look at some words first. And then, whilst he's, whilst he's having um, voice issues today, I'm afraid, so uh, we'll see. Anyhow, there's a lot of banging going on in the background where you are today, I'm afraid, Reem, so I didn't catch everything, but I think I caught most things, okay? I'm sure April will uh, yeah. let me know. <laughs> okay, so the first one, it's um, dreamy, yeah, to dream, to be dreamy, but we say dreamily. Ah... Oh, George Dreamily? Dreamily, yeah. Okay, so it's an adverb. He said dreamily, sort of in a dreamy way, like, ah, oh, April might say, oh, George Clooney. Or oh, maybe not. <laughs> then, <laughs> then the next one, pearls, not perils, pearls. Pearls of wisdom. Pearls are a precious stone out of oysters. Pearls. Try it? Yes. Pearls. That's Pearls. it. That's it. Wished has a silent e. Wished. That's it. Then we've got temper. If you show a temper, you're angry. Temper. That's it. So you've got to get that t at the beginning. Temper. Try it. Temper. Better. Then to glance at somebody just means to look very quickly. And so it's in, in plural glances. Glances. Yeah, some people say glances, some people say glances, I say glances, but I don't mind which, but it's that says at the end, okay? The next one isn't through. Through is with the R. This one is though. Yeah, yeah. Though. So. Yeah, you've got to learn those, I'm afraid. Just practice. Through, though. I went through the door, though it was closed. So, I went through the door though I didn't want to um, even though so try remembering a sentence like that I went through the door yeah. even though I didn't want to okay because you've got to get your brain I to accept to... yeah I went to throw the door even so I don't want to okay that's fine <laughs> okay the next one to find found so find. find is the yeah find is the standard to find something found is the past tense but in this context it was find okay okay find that's it and then <coughs> scornful to be scornful Scornful. Yes. Scornful. Sc scornful. That's better. Scornful. Um, the sort of thing children do. <laughs> Very scornful. <laughs> it's not nice. It's not a nice thing to be. Um, for example, yesterday uh, in Vikings, we beat the kingdom uh, that we were fighting. And they were very scornful. Yeah. They were very scornful of us because we'd beaten them, but we didn't fight. But we were like, "Yeah, so what? We won." <laughs> but they were very scornful. It was most rude. <laughs> okay, the next one: um, exhaustive, exhaustive to do something. Exhaustive. Yeah, to do something in a very thorough way. An exhaustive search. Okay, if you're looking for something, an exhaustive search. Uh, after that, stoutly, stoutly. Stoutly, stoutly. Perfect. Yeah, well done. And uh, then pretending, to pretend, pretending. Pretending, pretending. Very okay. good. Uh, then we're going to the madhouse. 
the madhouse. Yeah, literally that. The lunatic asylum it was sometimes called the madhouse or bedlam. <laughs> and then an iron yeah. cage. An iron cage. Iron cage. Iron cage. Not iron. With this, it's almost a silent R. Iron cage. Oh yeah, iron cage. That's better. Much easier to say without saying iron. <laughs> I don't do the ironing. I do the ironing. <laughs> and then a maniac. Maniacs. Mani uh, mania maniacs. Maniacs. Yeah. Mani maniacs. That's right. People with. Um, Mental health issues might be called a maniac, but there's a wonderful song if you want to try it. She's a maniac, maniac on the floor, and she's dancing like she's <laughs> never danced before. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and then this last bit, um, it's the sort of interjection you might use um, to show surprise. Goodness knows what we're in for. It just means we've no idea what's going to happen. Goodness knows what we're in for. Try it. Goodness knows what uh, we're in for. What in we're for. in for. What we're for. What we're in for. Where is there? Not were. Were is without the apostrophe. Because where is we are. Okay. So goodness knows what yeah. we're in for. What where? What, what we're, we're we in are. for. Yeah. Where in for. Yeah, what we're in for. Well done. Yeah. Thank you very much, Liam. You're welcome. Well done. And Shiny's still outside. <laughs> Shiny, come in if you can. Yay! Here she is. The Alien mascot. Yeah. <laughs> yes, April. How how is the sounds of uh, a person who is speaking stoutly? Um, here. It would be a little bit Brian Blessed. Now then, now then, oh. what's going on here? <laughs> uh, okay, like that. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's a sort of in a in a I I don't know um, in a very yeah. What would you say? Um, authoritatively, maybe. Yeah. It's 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 in it a lot. There's one at the begin, uh, the end of chapter nine. You shan't bully him," said Anthea stoutly. "Not if I can stop it." So in that sort of authoritative way. Okay. I don't care," said Anthea stoutly. "We'll tell her the truth." <laughs> so very authoritatively. Okay. Okay, thank you, Lynn. You're welcome. So Moz is back. Moz, have you got um have you uh tough, could could you type in nearby chat because it's very difficult to follow two different chats. Okay, uh here's the text link. Is Moz back? No. Nope. Okay, I think Moz has got real connection problems today, bless him. Okay, so Shiny, if you would like to start reading. When you're ready. But it's true, say Jin. Of course it is, but it's not true enough for grown up people to believe it, said Anthea. She was right. Let's put flowers in all the faces and try not to think about diamonds. After all, after all, Everything has come right in the end all the other times, so they filled all the pots they could find with flowers, asters, and zinnias, and loose leaf laid red roses from the wall of the stable yard, yard till the house was a perfect flower. And almost as soon as dinner was cleared the way, mother arrived and was clasped, 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 clasped in eight 
loving arms, it was very difficult indeed not to tell her all about the summit at once, because they had got into the habit of telling her everything, but they did succeed in not telling her. Mother, on her side, had plenty to te tell them about Granny and Granny's pigeons, and Auntie Emma's lamb tam donkey. She was very delighted with the flowery, flowery, floweriness, flowery, floweriness of the house, and everything seemed so natural and pre um, present. Now that she was home again, and the children almost thought they must have dreamed the summit. But when mother moved t towards the stairs to go up to the, her bedroom and take off her bonnet, the eight arms clung round her just as if she only had two children, one the lamb and the other an octopus. Don't go up, mommy darling, said Anthea. Let me take your things up for you. Oh, I will, said Cyril. We want you to come and look at the rose tree, said Robert. Oh, don't go up, said Jen hopelessly. Nonsense, dears, said Mother briskly. I'm not such an old woman yet that I can't take my bon bonnet off in the proper place. Besides, I must wash these black hands of mine. So up she went, and the children following her exchanged glasses, glances of gloomy foreboding. Mother took off her bonnet. It was a very pretty hat. Hat, really, with white roses on it, and when she had taken it off, she went to the dressing table to do her pretty hair. On the table between the ring ring stamp and the pink cushion lay on green leather case. Mother opened it. Oh, how lovely! She cried. It was a ring, a large pearl with. Shining, many lighted diamonds set round it. Wherever did this come from? Mother asked. Asked, try trying it on her waiting finger, which it fitted beautifully. However, did it come here? I don't know," said each of the children truthfully. Father must have told. Told Martha to put it here. Mother said, "I will run down and ask her." Let me look at it," said Anthea, who knew Martha would not be able to see the ring. But when Martha was asked, of course, she denied putting the ring here, there, and so did Eliza. Eliza and Cook. Mother came back to her bedroom, bedroom, very much interested and pleased about the ring. But when she opened the dressing table drawer and found a long case containing an almost priceless diamond necklace, she was more interested still. Though not so pleased, in the wardrobe, when she went to when she went to put away her、mm, bonnet, she found a tiara and several brooches and the rest of the jewelry 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 turned up. In various parts of the room, during the next half hour, the children looked more and more uncomfortable, and now Jane began to sneeze.
Marble well looked at her. Okay. <laughs> good job, good job. Good job, good job. Okay, we've got some um, feedback again. Oh, thank you. You've muted. Well done. Okay, so nicely read. And just a couple of words. Um, let's look at the individual words first. Okay, so the first one is pleasant. I know we say to please, but this is from um, pleasant is like pleasure. Okay, so pleasant. Try it. Pleasant. That's it. So you've got pleasure and pleasant, Ple but please. Okay. Then octopus. Octopus. That's it, yes. Eight octa, eight legs. Um, in fact, I believe octopi or octopuses have four arms and four legs, they've worked out. But anyway, eight limbs, octopus. And then brooch and brooches. Brooches. That's it. I know it's a double O, but it's one of those <laughs> things you have to just learn. It's not an oo sound. It's brooch, brooches, brooches for plural. And do you know what a brooch is, shiny? Okay, it's a piece of jewellery. Um, a necklace goes round your neck. A bracelet goes round your wrist. Earrings go in your ears. But a brooch just attaches to a piece of your clothing. Normally it's worn on the chest, like a medal almost. Uh, and we call it a brooch. Okay. Okay, so the next bit, um, this sentence here, just the intonation, your pronunciation was spot on, but the intonation was off. Um, so, however did it come here? It's a question we might say, however did that happen? However did it come here? Try it. Yeah. Oh. However, did it come here? That's better. Good. Perfect. And then um, you get a smiley. Two smileys. Clasped and asked. Or clasped and asked. Either is correct. Well done. Now, um, crown versus tiara. A tiara is more of a half moon shape to dress the hair, to make the hair look pretty. And a crown usually goes all the way around okay the head and it's a symbol of authority okay a tiara um have you you've watched uh now what was it oh there was a tv the big bang theory the big bang theory when sheldon bought amy a tiara to say sorry and he bought her a tiara and she's like it's a tiara <laughs> it's very funny i can't remember which episode of which series but if you remember that it was a tiara kind of a half moon that goes into the hair just as decoration carries no authority whereas the crown carries authority okay what do brides wear then is that tiara generally a tiara or... yeah it's very rare that a bride would wear a crown <laughs> Um, you get a crown, you, you are crowned, remember, yeah, when you are crowned, you don't get tiara'd. Okay, you get crowned to become king or queen and it conveys the authority. And if you're crowned, it can also mean you're hit heavily on the head. <laughs> I crowned him one, but um, yeah. Okay, so, um, Moz, you say you can hear us. Now, can we hear you? Uh, Yay! Yes, Liam. <laughs> awesome, well done, well done. So, would you like to do your bit of reading? You'll have to be the last one. Sorry, tough guy, but I did explain earlier I've got to go reasonably on time today. So, Moz, would you like to carry on reading? Do you know where we're up? Uh, yes. Okay. 
Uh, yes, I, I just followed it. The mother looked at her gravely. Is, is the start? Is this the start? Yes, that's it. Well done. Okay. Uh, mother looked at her gravely. Jane, she said, I'm sure you know something about Now think before you speak. And we found a fairy. We found a very uh, nonsense, please," said her mother sharply. "Don't, don't be silly, Jane," Cyril interrupted. Then he went on desperately. "Look here, mother. We the things before, but late. And then at the place last." All her jewelry by wicked burglars at last night. Could this possibly be it? <laughs> all, all drew a deep breath. They were saved. But how could they put it here? And as mother, not surely it would have been easier and safer to make off with it. Suppose, said Cyril, they thought it better to wait for, for sunset, nightfall, I mean, before they went off it, no one but us, she were coming back, today, send for the police at once, said before distractedly, oh how I wish daddy were here, wouldn't wouldn't it be better to wait till he does come? Asked Robert. Asked Robert, knowing that not be home before sunset. No, no, I can't wait. All this on my mind. All this was the heap of jewel cases on the bed. They put them all in the wardrobe. And mother locked it. Then mother called Martha. Martha, she said, Has any stranger been into my room since away? No. Now answer me truthfully. Mom, answered Martha, least ways, what I say, what I mean to say. She stopped. Come said her mistress kindly. I see someone has. You must tell me at once. Don't be frightened. I'm sure you haven't. Martha burst in. I was uh, going to give you warning this very day, Mom, to leave at the end of my mouth. So I was, on account of me, being going to a respectable young hat, young a gamekeeper. He is, and I wouldn't deceive you. Of the name, of the name of Bill, and it's as true as stand. I stand here. It was your coming home in such a hurry, and no warning given. But of the kindness of his heart, it was, as he. My beauty, he says, which I ain't and never was, but you know how them met them to go on. I can't see you are toiling and a moiling and not lend a helping, and which mine is a strong arm, and it's yours, Martha, my dear, says he, and so he helped of the windows, but outside, full time, and me in, never say another breath, breath, breathing, breathing word, it's gospel truth, were you with him, with, were you with him the whole time, I asked him outside, and me, said Martha, except, a fresh pail and 
and the river that 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 of uh, arises hidden away behind the mango mango that will do said the children's mother i am not pleased with with you martha but you have spoken the truth and that counts when martha had gone the children clung round their mom oh mommy darling cried Anthea. It isn't Bill's fault. It isn't really. He's a great dear. He is truly and honorably and as honest as the day. Don't let the police take him, mommy. Oh, don't, don't, don't. Here was an innocent man accused of through that sil that silly and it was absolutely useless to try to tell the truth and all longed to but they thought but they thought of the straws in in the hair and the shrieks of the other frantic mania maniacs and they could not is there is there a card hereabouts? Asked the mother, feeling a trap of any sort. In to Rochester and tell the police at once. All the children sobbed. There's a card at the farm. But, oh, don't go, don't go, don't go. Wait till daddy comes home. Father took the faint took not the faintest notice when she had set her mind on a, on a thing she, she went straight through with it it's rather like Anthea in he in this respect very good Look, well done. okay <laughs> nicely read well done okay so we didn't manage to finish off today but I'm sure we will next week won't we April okay <laughs> Sorry, you'd have to have been in the last session to understand why I'm saying that. But nicely read. Um, just a couple of words and one little bit of intonation. Okay. And <laughs> first word is to be obedient. But again, it's an adverb. I don't know why you all have such a problem with adverbs. Uh, so to be obedient, but to do something obediently. Obediently. Try it. Obediently. He said obediently. <laughs> Every time you do as I tell you, you're being obedient. You're doing it obediently. Well done. <laughs> and then the next one is from uh, to breathe. So breathing. Breathing. Yes. As long as you a breath, the noun is always that e eh sound. A breath. To take a breath. Take a deep breath. Yeah? But you are breathing. Okay. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. And then, I get <laughs> <laughs> again, another adverb, to feel feverish, okay, which, f hot and flustered in this way, she's, she's very, I mean, you can imagine, can't you, you suddenly find a load of stolen jewels in your bedroom, you'd be very hot and flustered and worried, and um, so feverish, but feverishly, feverishly, try it. Feverishly. Okay, good. Now, it was breaking up a little bit, the sound. If you listen to the recording, you'll notice that some of the words disappeared. So they're the ones I caught, but I think you're having a few sound problems today, Moz. Never mind. And then the last one, it would be said mother distractedly. Okay. She sounds... Oh, I don't know what's going on. What What? What? what did you just say? Uh, I didn't catch that. That's to feel distracted. So said mother distractedly. Try it. Uh, said mother distracted me. That's it. So again, adverb. Did you notice there's three adverbs there? Try to get used to adverbs. Okay. There's just a lee added to the end of the usual word. Feverish, feverishly. Distracted, distractedly. Obedient, obediently. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't. 
I will look at my dictionary. I forget what's the, what I'm going to ask. <laughs> so it's all ready. Oh dear, okay. <laughs> we seem to be going through that today. <laughs> okay, so let me just shrink the pigeon a bit. He's a bit big, isn't he? Granny's pigeon there. All right, so we will leave it there for this week. Next week, I'm sure we will um, finish. <laughs> I'm not making any promises though, April. I'm not. I'm just trying to see. But uh, thank you so much for coming and reading and uh, taking part. That was good. Well done. Any questions before? What was the last uh, the last sentence, Lynn? The In last, this respect, or um, the last sentence I have got is, "Look here, Cyril." Cyril, she said, sticking on her hat. That's the next sentence. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I'm right. She was rather like Anthea in this respect, was the last sentence that Moz read. So next week we will start at, look here, Cyril. <laughs> okay. Okay, you're welcome, Moz. Thank you. Take care then. Bye. Wild war, war whoops rang in their ears. Then, uh, when they ventured to open their eyes, they saw four of their foes dancing around, dan dancing around them with wild leaps and screams, and each of the four brandished in his hand a scalp of long flowing black hair. They put their hands to their heads, their own scalps were safe. The poor untutored savages had indeed scalped the children, but they had only, so to speak, scalped them of the black calico ringlets. The children fell into each other's arms, sobbing and laughing. Their scalps are ours, chanted the chief. Ill-rooted were their ill-fated hairs. They came off in the hands of the victors, without struggle, without resistance. They yielded their scalps to the conquering rock dwellers. Oh, how little a thing is a scalp so lightly won. They'll take our real ones in a minute. You see if they don't, said Robert, trying to rub some of the red ochre off his face and hands onto his hair. Cheated of our just and fiery revenge, Antia, throwing her arms round her. Yes, giggled Martha. You'd better make the most of me while you you've got me. I shall give you I shall give your ma notice directly min, minute she comes back. Oh Martha, we haven't been so very horrid to you, have we? asked Antia aghast. Oh, it isn't that, miss, Martha giggled more than ever. I'm a going to be married. It's Bill, the gamekeeper. He's been a proposing to me off and on to me off and on ever since you come home from the clergyman's where you got locked up on the church tower. And today I said the word and made him a happy man. Antia put the seven and four uh, pins, pens, pens, four pens back in the missionary box and pasted paper over the place where the poker had broken it. She was very glad to be able to do this. And she does not know to this day whether breaking open a missionary box is or is not a hanging matter. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Oh, spot on as well. Five minutes and at the beginning of the next chapter. Awesome. <laughs> Good morning. It's Lynn here from the Learn English Network in Kitely. And yesterday we're going to um, carry on reading Five Children and It.
I foolishly said earlier that maybe we will finish today, but let's see. <laughs> You're welcome, Shiny. You, I know you have difficulty actually finding us and following us and getting into the room. Oh, but you're out. You're standing outside. Next to the broom. Are you going to do some sweeping, Shiny? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Wherever you're comfortable. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, what did I say yesterday, April? I think so. Did I? Oh, I'll have to re-watch that bit. I'm not sure. My brain is on, in Monday mode still. Okay. I had a very busy weekend and I was up at half past five this morning. So I don't know what's going on. It's not good being up at half five on a Monday. It's definitely not the way to start the week. But I have at least had my tea now and my coffee. So I'm fully tanked. <laughs> okay, so today's reading list. Um, April will be the first to read, followed by Eleanor, then Moz, then Reem, and then Shiny. Last but not least, Shiny. If anybody else comes along, we'll have to just see if we have time to add them to the list. Uh, but I do have to be a little bit punctual today. So I suggest we begin. April, have you found the place in the book? Uh, yes, awesome. I am ready. Excellent. I love that. Whenever you're ready to start then. Okay. Uh, uh, then slowly. Sorry. One moment. Then slowly, by twos and threes, the Indians who had gone to look for firewood came back, and they came back empty-handed. They had not been able to find a single stick of wood for a fire. No one ever can, as a matter of fact, in that part of Kent. The children drew a deep breath of relief, but it ended in a moan of terror. For bright night knives were being brandished all about them. Next moment, its, its child was seized by an Indian. Each closed its eyes and tried not to scream. They waited for the sharp agony of the knife. It did not come. Next moment, they were released and fell in a trembling heap. Their, hits, oh, their heads did not hurt at all. They only felt strangely cool. Shavi, the chant went on. But there are other torments than than the scalping knife and the flames. Yet is the slow fire the correct thing? Oh, strange, unnatural country wherein a man may find no wood to burn his enemy. Ah, for the boundless forests of my native land, where the great, where the great trees for thousands of miles grow, but to furnish firewood wherewithal to burn our foes. Ah, would we were but in our native forest once more. Suddenly, like a flash of lightning, the golden gravel shone all round the four children instead of the dusky figures. For every single Indian had vanished on the instant at their leader, leader's word. The summit must have been there all the time, and it had been the Indian chief wish wish. Marta brought home a jug with a pattern of stalks and long grasses on it. Also, she brought back all Antia's money. My cousin, she gave me the jug for luck. She said it was an odd one, what the, bas the basin of had, not, of had got smashed. Oh, Marta, you are a dear, 